Many people often think that the day all the world's atomic bombs explode, it will be the day of judgment. But today, in the video by Bill Maher and Neil deGrasse Tyson, Neil deGrasse Tyson has revealed that modern nuclear weapons do not have radiation inside them. In a way, they don't have a radiation problem. Bill Maher, who is very enthusiastic about this, is about to react. And after that, what he said will make you laugh and perhaps a little scared. Let's directly go and see. For those who are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe before we start. Modern nukes don't have the radiation problem. Yeah, it's a different kind of weapon than the Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Nuclear weapons, if they're exploded, don't have a radiation problem? Not if it's a hydrogen bombs. Not in the way that we used to have to worry about it with fallout and all the rest of that. What you really have to worry about is being vaporized, and after that, if you're not vaporized, blown to bits by the shockwave. A lot of people are worried about, and I've heard this about India and Pakistan also, if they exchange their nuclear weapons, that the radiation in the atmosphere would come over here, would go all over the world, even if it was just a local exchange. Now you're telling me that that is well, not they, a worry? Well, if they use fission bombs, yes, that would be the case. Oh, for fuck's sake. The person who created the nuclear weapon, whose name is Oppenheimer, is also featured in a recent movie, The Father of the Nuclear Weapon, as you know, later regretted creating it. And in many places, he tried to stop the process because he realized that it could cause great destruction in the world. Unfortunately, by that time, the information had already advanced too far and the formulas had been given to high authorities. And those things could not be reversed. Whenever I hear the name of nuclear weapons, in my mind it brings a message of destruction on a large scale, whether it involves radiation or not. Nuclear weapons are essentially made for destruction. However, as they are explaining, even the hydrogen bomb might have been created for their own safety, so that its radiation do not come towards them. But as Bill Meher mentioned, Pakistan and India currently do not possess bombs like this, and the conflict between these two countries is ongoing. Both possess nuclear weapons, so this destruction could go on for a long time. But God keep us all safe, and my prayer is that all countries together eliminate these nuclear weapons. However, it seems difficult because based on this threat, countries intimidate each other, instill fear, and carry out their selfish agendas. What do you say about this? Be sure to let me know. Thank you for listening. Take care.